welcome back to another day with less anxiety. It's me, Orest, your anxiety coach. Today I would like to tell you about a technique that you can use to help you reduce anxiety or at least get some of the things done that you have been holding yourself back from. Um, maybe you had someone in your life uh, at some point, for me it was my grandma, that just continued to teach me this interesting lesson, a very natural one and I'm, I'm sure that you have heard this, uh, eat your dessert after you ate your vegetables. Uh, and of course, in this symbolic representation, the vegetables are going to be, of course, this doesn't apply to people who just love them or have learned to enjoy them. In this metaphorical case, it is about the things that you don't particularly enjoy. And of course, I heard this, uh, I heard this saying when I was little and I didn't yet particularly enjoy my vegetables. But in this situation, what it's trying to tell you is that you want to make sure that you do the things first that you don't particularly enjoy. Why? Because those are usually the things, if they are present in your life, those are usually the things that are important for some reason. In this case, in the case of food, those, and of course this is not nutritional advice, uh, you eat whatever is appropriate for you or whatever is recommended to you by uh, your professionals. Um, but the idea is that what you want to do is eat first the things that maybe you don't enjoy but get the important nutrients inside uh, and then then you have the dessert and the dessert of course in this case uh, it, I don't even remember what it used to be uh, some jams or some amazing uh, amazing pastries that my grandma would prepare and those were those were really delicious I love them but most of the time they were much more they were much less rich in nutrients they were much um, more filled up with sugar and just empty calories so what you do want first of all you don't prepare too much of those things you don't just fill up on only those uh, only the sweets and what my grandma wanted to make sure even though she wasn't prepared with uh, with amazing nutritional advice what she wanted me to do is to make sure that i got the things first that are important that are good for me even if i didn't like them so much and then i could add the pleasurable things the things that only add the little bit of pleasure not value nothing additional nothing long lasting just some nice thing that i got the at the end that i could enjoy and of course we need those as well i'm not saying that you should never have dessert so in this case, how does this relate to, for example, anxiety, things that stop you, in particular about procrastination? What you want to do is make a deal with yourself to not have anything pleasurable until you take at least a reasonable small step in terms of your project. In fact, these videos would probably not have been made or would have lasted another month or another two months before I got started if I didn't make a deal like this with myself. At some point I decided, you know what? Nothing happens before I record two, three videos each day. No cell phone, no social media, no games, no nothing else. Only sitting down here and actually talking to you. This is the deal that I made with myself. Otherwise, you, I would just end up doing something that distracts me, then another thing, then uh, I'll, I'll get this started just as soon as I finish this one video, or I get started after I play a quick game of this and that, and then those really easily chain up and just end up, you end up doing way too many of those. So make sure that you make a right deal for yourself. Don't, make sure that it doesn't feel like you're, you are, uh, really, I don't know, smothering yourself or just not allowing you to have any fun. That's not the idea. Make sure that what you're, you're, what you're planning to do is actually doable, you can achieve it, and you know when you have achieved it. Make sure it's not fixing your life in one day before you have any fun. That's not going to work. And then it's very likely that you end up breaking the entire deal and not getting anything done. So make sure that your deal is fair, but it has the vegetables first. And I really hope that this is going to be another step that gets you closer to just a little bit less anxiety today. And if videos like this are useful, 
for you or you think it's can, it can be useful for others, make sure that you click the like button so YouTube shares it with other people. If you want to share it with someone in particular, there is a button for that. If you'd like to leave a comment, if, you'd, if you have something nice to say, please do so. And to make sure that you don't miss tomorrow's video, subscribe. I'd love to see you tomorrow as well. And of course, because you made it all the way to the end, make sure that you do a little bit of this. Tell yourself, I'm doing good. And you are doing good. I'd love to see you. Keep coming back here. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Go have a kind day. Take care.